is going on guys this is Kimo Cheese here bringing you a video on how to level up characters so now as of today I know there's two good places to level up I'll be showing you guys both many of you guys are aware of them and if you guys don't know where they are this is why I made this video to show you guys how to level up your class quickly um, I'm going to show you guys what I've leveled up so far, and basically for me, I've leveled up every single character or class I want to the levels for passives. Now, the reason why you want to level up other uh, classes aside from your main one, like for me, I made the Samurai, but I leveled up my other classes, is because of passives. So, Samurais, oops, I picked the uh, wrong one here. Um, for Samurais... We have a lot of offensive stats, we don't have enough tank, uh, tanks stats, so why I leveled up Rook and like Paladins and whatnot is because you get stuff like a plus 1000 to all job limits, like these kind of passives that aren't oranges are for, shared with every class, so see 100 H 500 HP right here, that's good, 500 HP right here, that's already like 1000 HP right there, so that's really nice for like classes that don't have a lot of tanky stats to them. Um, another one is Knights. This one gives physical defense. Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, physical defense. Physical defense. Where's that? C plus 150 and plus 150. So, you want to level up your other passives that benefit your class that you want to prioritize. For me, Samurai. That's why I left fight, Fighter at 17 because if you look at these stats, uh, I don't need physical attack, I don't need physical attack, I don't need physical uh, attack. I'll leave it there. But if I want to, I can just level them up. I might do it actually just because after a while, um, leveling up classes will get difficult. So it's best to get them out of the way now and not have to worry about it later. So in this case, I'm going to level up my mage. Oops, I'm going to level up my mage because I'm going to show you guys great ways to level up your classes. There's two ways actually. Um, I changed the wrong class, so I'm putting it back on right now. But it is pretty easy for the most part. You don't have to do much. It just takes a lot of time because, um, yeah, level up classes takes a long time. So I'm going to show you guys the first one. And for nine days, it's a Rabbit Fang Quint Quintet. This place is great because not only does it give a lot of EXP, it gives a lot of Poros. And it gives great equipment for you to use. Like for me, I've been farming this place for like two nights now. And as you can see from my equipment slot, I filled up prior like mostly on dark equipment. My sub gear, mostly all dark filled up. I'm missing like two more, but I'll, I'll deal with those later when I get them. And for my accessories, I'm basically done with my dark equipment. So that's really nice to have. And this place is great for that. So I'm gonna... Oops, this one's already filled. See that guy already leveled up. Um, let's find a rare real quick. Let's level up spam. I should really turn on the volume. Um, let's see if we can find one real quick. If not, I'll just fill up my, uh, my bar. Yeah, this place gives. Look, after I kill these, it's like a hundred thousand exp per kill. So I'm probably not gonna get a level, but it's still a lot because. All right, I should turn that off. I want to try the uh, sound effects and whatnot, but yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that. That's just too many leveling. So there's a rare right here, if I can get to it. And this, these are the rares that you're looking for, or most people are looking for. They're pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you're like under 200k. It's probably going to be a struggle for you because these things hit really hard. Like for me too, it hits really hard. I'd probably die like in two hits. That's why for me as a samurai, I just spam um, my butterfly to give evasion, agility for stats. But I should be okay now. I have a pretty good party and whatnot. But if you want to do this really quickly, what I recommend is if you have the attack on Titan medal for Eren Titan, use that. It basically one-shots all the monsters on the field. And it makes this farming process a lot, lot easier. I see a lot of people do it, and I do. I usually do it myself. The reason why I'm not doing it here is because I have mostly dark weapons, so I can't really use it. Yeah, Aaron Titan doesn't allow you to use dark weapons, so if your main weapon is dark, you shouldn't. You can't use it. Unfortunately, I'm a dark samurai, so I can't use it. But yeah, see, that's about 
half a level at 50 right there, which is amazing. So, after you get your EXP, you only you only get one clear per uh, entry, so that's pretty unfortunate, but it gives you really good EXP. And the main reason for, for why you want to come here is for these kind of great equipment. My inventory is full right now, but I'll show you guys what I've accumulated. Let's say sell me uh, my junk. Equipment list, sell all this. Trash all that, yeah. And gift box, see we have all these uh, equipment that we got. Ooh, I got a uh, UR, is that, I think that's water. I can check real quick, but I'm pretty sure that's water. Uh, yeah, I think that's water. use that but yeah that's the first area guys pretty good if you're planning on farming for equipment good for exp i recommend coming here if you're strong enough otherwise if you're not you guys can go to the alternative method which is rush i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are aware of this place it's really easy to unlock all you need to do is complete chapter eight of your scenarios and you unlock rush you have to do a quest in hunters i believe uh or specials one of these right here and you get a quest finish that I think it's called Six Sense. Yeah, you finish that, you unlock Rushmere, and basically for Rushmere, all you gotta do is, once you get the quest, just jump right in. Most people have the Chapter 1 uh, portal quest. So you grab this, and it's really easy. So what you wanna do is, go here. So in order to finish this quest, you talk to this portal. Don't talk to the portal. Walk straight past it. This is for EXP. You get one hour. You see in the top right, you get one hour. And you see there's a lot of people here. All these people are basically AFK. See how everyone's asleep? Asleep, asleep, asleep. And basically everyone is AFK. So you just jump into a fight. And you just kill stuff. Pretty cool music. Might turn it down actually. It's pretty loud. But yeah, pretty good music. Just kill 200,000 EXP per kill. Which is pretty insane. And you get an hour here. Try not to die. It's almost impossible to die here because there's a lot of people joining into the fight, so it's almost impossible to lose. And you get, see, you get a, that's like point, that's like 25% right there of a level, so that's really nice. That's a level 50. Um, your first level, if you guys starting at level one, you clear this, you get to like instant level 30, which is insane. Um, you just jump around, walk around. Usually, I go to these where there's like a lot of people, and you just jump into a fight and you just kill everything. Pretty easy, pretty basic. And that's how you level up all your classes for the most part. Level them up. Um, for actually, I'm gonna show you guys one other thing you can do. So if you don't have time to play, like some people are like doing homework, doing other stuff they have to work on, you can also level up this place and without paying attention. Basically, what you want to do is the these this spot right here that I'm circling at. So let me zoom out real quick. Come on. There we go. So after you pass the portal, the best two places to farm is right here and right here. So you want to stand like, for me, once I zoom back in, I stand like a little bit out here for where the monsters spawn and watch. Uh, once these fights are over, I'm just going to stand right here. I start help clear these mobs real quick and watch. I'm not going to touch. I'm not going to touch my mouse. I'm on an emulator right now, so I'm not going to touch my mouse. It's going to join a fight by itself. Just give it a bit. See, I'm not touching it. My hands are away from my keyboard and mouse. This is great for when you want to just AFK, do your other business, and still want to load up your characters without having to be there to like, pay attention to it. I think I might miss this one. Yeah, I walked a little bit further. But you just stand there. Like if you have a phone, you have an emulator, just keep it there, and you're good to go. Come on. Monster should join soon. It takes, if you're like AFK, like I am right here, AFK, quote unquote, I'm not really AFK. Um, it takes about, 
30 seconds to a minute to find a monster and fights to take about, I'd say, a minute. Like, a little bit less than a minute. See? Join the fight. And now, a lot of people should join too. And you don't have to do anything. After about, like, 15 seconds, uh, your character will start attacking on its own. And it makes it really easy. And a lot of people usually just join in and help you too. So this is how a lot of people, like, level up their classes, like, really, like, really fast. They're not really leveling up fast, it's just that they're not paying attention to their characters, and they get leveled up pretty fast right here. See? I didn't do anything, and I leveled up. So, on average, if most classes, um, they want all passive, so that's, like, 65. Um, on average, if you're actively moving around Rushmere and, like, attacking other monsters, it takes about one hour to complete level 65. Now, if you want to even want to AFK like I am right here, it takes about two hours for that. So, give or take how much you want to spend here. Um, but for most people, they're busy, so just AFK here, and that takes about two hours or so. And you can just swap to your next class after you're done. Now, the thing is, um, the timer on the top right it slowly drops down, so you can only stay for an hour at most. And you don't really need to uh, clear the quest. You can just let the timer run out, and you still get all rewards for it. Everything is there for you to uh, obtain after you've quit or like failed the quest. So everything you get, like all these medals and like all these junk that I'm getting right here, you keep even if you fail the uh, mission or whatever, even after you quit. So it's really great. Great place to also farm um, EXP fodders for equipment. I'm going to quit after this to show you guys. But this is a, a great place for a lot of resources and EXP. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. See, I have accumulated like a lot of metals and a lot of equipment right here. Um, you can just go ahead and quit. You, you get all the EXP that you accumulated earlier. You get some great EXP material and a lot of good metals. I've already maxed out all these metals, so I don't get them anymore. But yeah, this is a great place. Now, you can keep coming here for as much as you want. There's no limit to it. I, uh, I, rec I recommend that you guys do this ASAP because... I've been told that EXP gets harder later in Rushmere because they're going to nerf the place because you're supposed to play the game for EXP, not AFK and stuff like that. Plus, it's really fast. So, if you guys uh, don't mind, then you should level up your classes ASAP. Makes it easier for you and all that good jazz. So, thank you guys for watching. This is a quick video on how to level up classes. I'll be making another video. I think in a few days on how to improve gear scores or just the basics of it. I'm not really high myself. I'm only like uh, 300k. Well, I just broke 300k yesterday on my samurai. So I have a ways to go, but you guys know what I'm going to do. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.